I'm very proud. I, that's fine by me. I'll, 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 I'll stick with what I've got. I'm really, really proud. I'm totally proud. Switching up to being Prime Minister, the red boxes, the endless demands on you. Your son is going to take on a very heavy load now. Well, yeah, well, I imagine someone said that to Ronald Reagan when he, um, you know, I mean, if, what you mustn't forget is we do have a Rolls Royce machine here in terms of the civil servant, and we have, in the Tory party at least, an incredible array of really competent people, some of whom will become cabinet ministers. So don't think, what is the Prime Minister? The Prime Minister is primus inter pares, you know, first among equal. And honestly, I mean, the one thing a Prime Minister has to do is get other people to do the work. And I'm sure Boris can make a good shot at that. Stanley, can I just ask you, which one of your sons are we going to get as Prime Minister? People in burkas look like letterboxes or the open London mayor that people saw hey, hey. years ago? Now, team... Don't want to answer that. Is it, isn't it lunchtime? Do you think getting on for lunchtime? That's what I was thinking. Uh, look, if you actually look at Boris's ancestry, you look at it. You've got a, a great grandfather who, who was the, the Sultan's last minister of the interior and who could, and who could recite the Koran. What should I say? The Koran. Have I got this right? Is it Koran or Koran? And no takers on this one? Anyway, he do that before he was five years old. He'd got a French grandmother, which was my father. He's got a Swiss. He's got English. I tell you, there's a big chunk of English in this. That the issue now is for the European partners to realize that they will confront no deal, and it'll be probably worse for them than it is for us, and unless they, they move on some of these key issues, like, for example, remitting the Irish backstop to, to a further discussion later. Don't tell me that we can't solve the Irish backstop. It doesn't need to be, you know, right up there in the withdrawal agreement. What the new thing with Boris bring to the cap, to the UK compared with uh, Boris, uh, Theresa May? What's the new thing? Uh, some people expect to have some magic power, but do you believe? I'll tell you, I'll you tell my, my very nice question. It's a very nice question. Well, I think it's to do, in a way, with a sense of, of what is possible. I think that, honestly, honestly, you could say, you know, Brexit is not such such a big deal. Look, you know, in, in May 1940, or in August 1940, you know, this country really did face a challenge. Well, come on, you know, if we handled, if we handled August 1940 and the Battle of Britain, don't tell me we can't handle Brexit. You know, I mean, let's get a sense of proportion here. Thank you okay, very, thank very you much. much. Stanley, there's a lot of...